Cartoon Recaps here. Today I will be recapping the episode 4 and 5 of the animation series called Battle Through the Heavens. But before I begin, let me quickly recap what happened at the last episodes to carry you along. The movie centers on a young boy called Xiao Yan, who was born from one of the richest family in the dynasty called the Xiao's family. People in this universe depends on magic and are ranked and respected based on the level of magic they have. Although Xiao Yan is from one of the biggest family in the dynasty, but sadly for him, his magic is at the lowest level. Making every nobles to see him as a joke and embarrassment. Even his younger sister's power level is extremely impressive. The worst of all is that his inability to use his powers really spoiled and destroyed his reputation. To the extent of his bride-to-be, requesting for the cancellation of their marriage. His father Xiao Zhan couldn't accept her rejection on his son, knowing the kind of embarrassment it will bring to the Xiao family. But he ended up making a deal which is after three years, Xiao Yan and his bride Narlin will engage in a combat. And if she wins the marriage will be cancelled. Xiao Yan who agreed to the deal became really helpless. Believing that even in three years he won't still be able to defeat Narlin. Because his energy level is really low. His father is so full of pity, when he sees his poor son crying at his mother's grave. Promising himself to fight this battle for his son. Suddenly, the ring his mother gave him before she died started to shine, and an old man comes out of it. The old man tells Xiao Yan that he can help him increase his magic level, so he can be one of the strongest person in the dynasty. Xiao Yan is so glad upon hearing that, believing if his power level increases, it will totally change his life for the better. The old man instructs him to get some expensive ingredients from the market. But he knows he can't get the money from his father at his state, so he goes to his little sister to ask for the money. His sister who was really impressed to see him smile after a long time borrows him the money and they both get to the market to purchase those items. Immediately after buying the items, they are apprehended by the Jialai family guards. Jialai is Xiao Yan father's competitor in the market, but his father now has the upper hand because of his upcoming marriage with Narlin, who is from one of the richest families in the dynasty, even though Narlin wants to cancel the marriage, his annoyance is Xiao Yan agreeing to the deal to fight her in three years, which he knows that if Xiao Yan wins the fight, his father Xiao Zhan will have the upper hand in their market competition. To prevent any future problems, Jia Lai orders his son and his men to capture Xiao Yan. But fortunately, he is rescued by his powerful sister, and as they see the Xiao family guards coming, they decided to leave the fight for another day. Xiao Yan successfully delivers the items to his master, which he uses to produce a liquid potion. His training begins with his master, but as Xiao Yan tries to use his powers more than his capacity, he started to vomit blood and then faints. Now episode 4 begins with Xiao Yan who is already unconscious of the excess level of powers he tried to use. But luckily for him, his master uses his powers to heal him, and increases his power level from level 3 to level 4. An auction house called My Tear is shown. It's a place where goods are sold to the highest bidder. A lot of people are gathered for the bidding. Even the people from the three head of the families are there. And the person in charge of this auction is a girl called Ifei. On the other hand, Xiao Yan is really glad when he gets informed by his master that his powers has been increased from level 3 to level 4. His master tells him about a technique in magic called the vacuum pump technique. He explains that the technique is so strong that it can be used to lift up heavy objects. That if he manages to encounter an enemy, its violent suction can forcefully drain out the blood from the enemy's body. Xiao Yan is so interested in this technique, and begs his master to teach him. Xiao Yan goes forward to put the vacuum pump technique to test, but it doesn't work. He sees the Xiao family combat area and goes in, only to see his sister beating up a noble in the training. She has the upper hand in the fight because her level of powers is more stronger. She sees her brother and hurries to meet him, only to notice that Xiao Yan's powers has increased from level 3 to level 4. She is so excited about this, and gives him a manual that contains everything he needs to know at level 4. Xiao Yan is so happy and brings the manual to his master. But his master is unimpressed because he believes everything containing the manual is useless. Instead he proposes that he is going to teach a technique better than that manual, which might even take him level 5. Meanwhile we see Narlin in this episode, who is meditating on a really high mountain. On the other hand Xiao Yan goes to the forest with his master to begin his level 5 training. His master attacks him repeatedly, so his body can become stronger to obtain a higher energy. After that, his master tells him to purchase more ingredients so he can continue his training. Although he is really pissed, knowing that he hasn't even paid the one he borrowed from his sister. Now to get more money, Xiao Yan and his master disguises themselves in one body, 
and goes to the market to sell a liquid potion there. They both enter the Maitir auction house, and presents the potion to Yafei, who is the person in charge so she can help them bid the potion among the nobles, and distribute the gain to each other. Yafei proposes to Xiao Yan to reveal his face to her, because she wants to know who she's doing business with. But he rejects believing there might be a percussion for that, if his identity is exposed. Yifei goes to the arena of the auction, and presents the liquid potion to all the nobles. Xiao Yan father Xiao Zhan, and his competitor Jia Lai, is also there for the bidding. She explains to them the kind of powers it can give to whoever drinks it. And best of all is, it has no side effects. Everyone is really interested in this portion, and the bidding begins immediately. Xiao Yan's father wants to buy it at any cost for his son. But Jia Lai who knows about this smiles, ready to prevent him from doing so. Yifei begins the price at 8,000, and everyone begins to give their prices. Whoever gives the highest price takes the potion. Suddenly Jia Lai gives a very high price so no one will counter it. But Xiao Zhan manages to give a highest price. Jia Lai minister attempts to increase the price but Jia Lai stops him believing Xiao Zhan is finally falling into his traps. He plans to make Xiao Zhan poor. But actually Xiao Yan has no choice but to spend that much money to give the powerful potion to his son at all costs. And that was how this episode ended. Episode 5 begins with when his relatives who are also in the Xiao family, are scolding him, for spending that amount of money for the potion. But Xiao Zhan reveals that he can even go as far selling his properties, just to increase his son's energy to level 5. On the other hand, Xiao Yan listens to his father's words and is so touched. His father later sees him outside, and gives the potion to him. Xiao Yan becomes so sentimental, promising his father that he will work really hard to increase his energy to level 5. Xiao Yan continues his trainings with his master, and after a long meditation and motivation, Xiao masters the vacuum pump technique in time. Xiao Yan wants to reach level 7 this time around, so he can make his father proud. But his master advises him not to be in a haste because it may be a bad impact on his health. Meanwhile Narlin is shown, who is still on the mountains meditating. She is strengthening herself for her fight with Xiao Yan, which is going to occur in three years. The next morning his sister wakes him up reminding him that today is the ceremony day, where they will present their energy level to everyone. When Xiao Yan arrives, gossip starts flowing around, about him coming to disgrace himself again. His sister goes to the center and as she checks her energy, and it turns out to be really high as usual, making the elders who haven't seen it before really shocked. As Xiao Yan is called out too, everyone started laughing at him, believing he is going to disgrace himself. His father is also furious on what his energy might be. As he checks his energy to everyone's surprise, his energy is very high. Which is at level 7, making his father the proudest man on earth. Jia Lai gets informed by the news, concerning Xiao Yan energy level increase. Jia Lai and his son plans to devise a way to watch his Xiao Yan's movement, so they can know who is training him. To put his energy to test, the Xiao family elder proposes that he should fight someone at level 8. Suddenly the jerk who has always hated Xiao Yan from the beginning goes to fight him. Surprising, Xiao Yan defeats him using the techniques his master thought him, making everyone really impressed. Jia Lai doesn't want Xiao Zhan's son to win this fight, so he gives the challenger a very powerful pearl so Xiao Yan will lose the fight. And that was how this episode ended. I will be recapping the next episode soon. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel and keep watching. Bye.